Okay, everyone. Welcome to our English class. I know you guys are excited about finishing this book, Ventures 2. It's been a long time, but we are almost done. And today we begin a new unit, Unit 10. We are going to talk about free time. So open your student book, go to your student book and open on page 122. And we are going to talk about free time. So student book, page 122. This is the listening section, as you all know. So let's go to page 122 and let's talk about free time. So go to your book and we're going to take a look here at this picture. So take a look. What do you see? So tell me a little bit. What do you see in this picture? What is this? Yeah, when you see this picture, what do you see? Where, what is this place? What's going on? Can you tell me? Tell me the things you see in this picture. Tell me what people are doing. Try to describe the people. Especially the people, the people with names. So you have Celia, Anna, Mrs. Campbell, Sue. Tell me what they are doing. Who do you think they are? Okay. So, can you see the graduation cake? Graduation cake. Can you see? The graduation cake is here. So, this is a party, and I think it's a graduation party. Uh, graduate is when you finish uh a school yeah so this is a graduation can you see flowers in this picture flowers right here flowers right can you see guest a guest in this picture yeah right not only one but we have many guests how about perfume can you see perfume Can you see a perfume here? A piece of cake. Can you see somebody eating a piece of cake? Somebody eating a piece of cake. And how about balloons? Yeah, there are many balloons. Balloons, right? And how about a present? Present. Yeah, that's great, right? Present. Present. Okay, guys. So after we look at this picture, I think that's enough. Let's go to next page, page 123. Go to next page, 123. Okay, let's focus on exercise 2A, page 123. 
exercise 2a. And this is the type of exercise you already know. We, you're going to listen to three conversations and you have to match the conversations with these pictures, okay? I'm going to play the conversation, then you try to match with the picture you see here, okay? Which gift is Celia talking about? Write the letter of the conversation, okay? So listen to the audio. Unit 10. Free time. Page 123. Exercises 2A and 2B. Track 30. Conversation A. Aunt Anna, hello. Hi, Celia. Congratulations on your graduation. This is a wonderful party. Thank you for coming. Would you like some cake? My mother made it. I'd love some. I'm very hungry. Would you like something to drink? No, thanks. Here, I brought you some flowers. They're from my garden. <gasps> Red roses, they're beautiful. Thank you. Conversation B. Hello, Mrs. Campbell. Thank you for coming to my party. Celia, I'm so proud of you. You were my best student. You started English class three years ago, and now you have your GED. You worked very hard. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. You helped me a lot. Here, I brought you a card. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. You're welcome. Come and join the party. Would you like a piece of cake? Yes, please. I'd love some. Conversation C. Hi, Sue. Thanks for coming. Where are your children? They're with my mother, so I can't stay long. I just wanted to congratulate you. Thank you. Would you like a piece of cake? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Would you like something to drink? I'd love some water. Okay, I'll get you some. Wait, I brought you a little present. Oh, thank you. Oh, Sue, my favorite perfume. Thank you. You're welcome. It's from our family. That's so nice. Please take some balloons home for your children. Thanks. They love balloons. Okay, what do you think? Was it easy or difficult? It's not a difficult exercise, right? Okay, so let's go here. Take a look at the pictures. So picture number one. Picture number one was conversation letter. Conversation letter B. Yeah, right? How about picture number two? That was conversation letter A. And picture number three was conversation letter C. Okay, B A C. Easy or difficult? Not difficult, right? It was okay. It wasn't that difficult at all. Okay, so now we're going to go and do exercise 2B. What we're going to do here is we're going to listen to the conversation again. And as you listen to the conversation, you're going to mark with false or true for these statements here. Okay? So let's listen again, and then I'll come back. Okay? Unit 10. Free time. Page 123. Exercises 2A and 2B. Track 30. 
Conversation A. Aunt Anna, hello. Hi, Celia. Congratulations on your graduation. This is a wonderful party. Thank you for coming. Would you like some cake? My mother made it. I'd love some. I'm very hungry. Would you like something to drink? No, thanks. Here, I brought you some flowers. They're from my garden. <gasps> Red roses. They're beautiful. Thank you. Conversation B. Hello, Mrs. Campbell. Thank you for coming to my party. Celia, I'm so proud of you. You were my best student. You started English class three years ago, and now you have your GED. You worked very hard. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. You helped me a lot. Here, I brought you a card. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. You're welcome. Come and join the party. Would you like a piece of cake? Yes, please. I'd love some. Conversation C. Hi, Sue. Thanks for coming. Where are your children? They're with my mother, so I can't stay long. I just wanted to congratulate you. Thank you. Would you like a piece of cake? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Would you like something to drink? I'd love some water. Okay, I'll get you some. Wait, I brought you a little present. Oh, thank you. Oh, Sue, my favorite perfume. Thank you. You're welcome. It's from our family. That's so nice. Please take some balloons home for your children. Thanks. They love balloons. Okay. Let me play one more time just to see if you have any questions. Okay, I'm going to play one more time. Unit 10. Free time. Page 123. Exercises 2A and 2B. Track 30. Conversation A. Aunt Anna, hello. Hi, Celia. Congratulations on your graduation. This is a wonderful party. Thank you for coming. Would you like some cake? My mother made it. I'd love some. I'm very hungry. Would you like something to drink? No, thanks. Here, I brought you some flowers. They're from my garden. Red roses, they're beautiful. Thank you. Conversation B. Hello, Mrs. Campbell. Thank you for coming to my party. Celia, I'm so proud of you. You were my best student. You started English class three years ago, and now you have your GED. You worked very hard. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. You helped me a lot. Here, I brought you a card. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Mrs. Campbell. You're welcome. Come and join the party. Would you like a piece of cake? Yes, please. I'd love some. Conversation C. Hi, Sue. Thanks for coming. Where are your children? They're with my mother, so I can't stay long. I just wanted to congratulate you. Thank you. Would you like a piece of cake? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Would you like something to drink? I'd love some water. Okay, I'll get you some. Wait, I brought you a little present. Oh, thank you. Oh, Sue. My favorite perfume. Thank you. You're welcome. It's from our family. That's so nice. Please take some balloons home for your children. Thanks. They love balloons. Okay, so let's go and 
do corrections here to see if we got our sentences correct, okay? So number one, conversation one. Conversation eight, sorry about that. Celia is having a birthday party. True or false? That's false, why? She was not having a birthday party, right? It was not a birthday party, it was graduation party. So that was the problem, right? That was the problem here. Okay, no graduation party. Yeah, that's so. Uh, Now, Celia's mother made a cake. Celia's mother made a cake. True or false? It's true. Yeah, she made a cake. She made a cake, yes. And number three, Aunt Anna would like some cake. Aunt or aunt, doesn't matter. So Aunt Anna, would like some cake. True or false? True. Yes, she wants a cake. She wants a cake. Okay. Questions? Let's go to conversation B. Mrs. Campbell is a student. Mrs. Campbell is a student. True or false? And that is? False. She's not a student. Mrs. Campbell is not a student. Okay. She's not a student. Mrs. Campbell is a teacher. Yeah, Mrs. Campbell is a teacher. Number five, Celia started English class three years ago. Celia started English class three years ago. True or false? True. Okay. Good. Number six. Mrs. Campbell brought Celia a card. Mrs. Campbell brought Celia a card. And that is true. Okay. Good. What do you think? Easy or difficult? Conversation C. Sue brought her children to the party. Sue. Sue brought her children to the party. Did she bring the children to the party? Yes or no? What do you think? True or false? That is false. Okay. Sue. She didn't bring. Yeah. She. She didn't bring. 
her children to the party. That's false, okay? So number eight, Sue would like some water. Sue would like some water, true or false? And that is true, she, yes, she would like some water. She wants some water, yeah. And number nine, Sue gave Celia some balloons. Sue gave Celia some balloons. And that is false. Okay. Yeah. And the correct answer she didn't give. Sue didn't give Celia some balloons, yeah. Okay. Good. Easy or difficult? Okay, guys, that's all for now. Um, let's take a break. And we come back for the next part of our class, okay? Let's take a break now. It was a very simple uh, exercise. Let's take a break, relax, and we come back, okay? <laughs> 